Hey gang, welcome to another episode of your review channel. Yes, I'm looking at the Melissa and Doug Art Deluxe Easel Folds Flat for Easy Storage. And we'll try to put it together real quickly to show you a little bit how it works. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Okay, what we're gonna do is take everything out of the box. We're gonna take a look at all the pieces um, and just see what we're working with as far as all the components. So let me just take it all out and we'll get it all laid out for you. Okay guys, so I took a, uh, just took it apart and laid it on the table, I mean on the ground here, just to show you what's in the box. What we have here is, this is the, this is the, the, the deluxe one, so this does also painting, uh, chalkboard, paper roll, the whole nine yards. So what's in here is all the screws and everything you need to put it together. So it's super simple, you don't need a ton of tools. These are all thumb, thumb screws, you just put them all together. Okay, so you have the long, it shows you here, short bolts long bolts it comes with little allen screw so everything is laid out really really easy so it looks intimidating it doesn't seem too bad you know the instruction manual always looks more complicated but also look at the parts and see what you're working with really important so this is like the the tray for the art the crayons things like this here and uh, subscribe to the channel you're gonna see the also i did an unboxing of uh, the accessory kit that comes you can get an accessory kit as well it's additional costs of course but um you need to have that with all the paints and the colors and the paper and all that kind of stuff so okay so what's in here so you got two trays easy to assemble you get the thumbnails and all the little clips and everything for the paper you can see here i'll take it out in a second you get the screws you get the instruction manual you get the pegs so each each one of these in each box so here's one set here Here's another set here. So this is actually what they did here is a nice job. They put this hinge on here. So you can see here, this hinge. So you know this is the top, right? It's simple enough, understand? It actually opens up, as you can see. Opens and closes. And that's pretty easy, uh, like that. It's simple to understand. Everything is all numbered, A, B, C, D, one, two, three. These have to go kind of here. Uh, just let you know. So when you do them, uh, just make sure the numbers actually match the back, okay? Super simple. Um, so C and D, like that, so at least go like that, super, 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 simple to us all. Um, so let's just put this together, and um, let's see how we do. Middle pole here, you can see here, if you look at the photo, you can see it. Always look at the photos, guys, it helps me a lot. You can see how the, the red, um, right there, that's a paper tray holder. That looks like that to me in the background, so that's what it looks like. Oh, it comes with the boards, I forgot to mention that. So what we have here is this says top, so let's go to the top, right, so that's easy. So we have the dry eraser board, okay. And then we have the chalkboard, which is kind of cool. And they both say top on it. So that means it goes to the top of the board. Uh, so that's easy enough to do. Four screws, everything is super simple. Big thumbnails, and very easy to use. Okay, so just quickly, so these are for the paper holder. So if you get the deluxe one, you get these to hold the paper down when you're doing art with, with painting and, and the, with the paper. And now I should show you the screws. So they're color coded, so I'm sure they match up the color code and in the instructions. So <clears throat> follow the instructions. Uh, so you got blue, red, yellow, and green. Again, they're all thumb screws. So really super simple to handle, easy for the hands to, to navigate. Um, and I like Melissa and Doug. They think of everything, and I love the way they put things together. Everything is big and colorful and fun. Four, so these are the long ones, and the black ones are the short ones. So simple enough to do, you see how they just pop right in here. Um, so these two go together and these two go together. Uh, so the hex part goes, sits inside the groove here. It doesn't say that in the instructions, it's a little confusing, but, or I didn't see it, but it looks like to me these just sit inside here, because you can see how they fall inside the groove here. Um, and that doesn't really matter what color you use, Just I just keep them all the same with the blue for this here. So this is <clears throat> simple enough, you just basically take the screws, and these are really easy to do. I mean, this is, and it, if you make a mistake, you can always undo it. You don't really need the hex tool because these tighten up really tight pretty quickly. Um, and that's what you have to do for that together. So you just never know. So that goes on there. Again, finger tight. You don't have to go crazy. You don't need that hex tool at all so far because everything's tightening up automatically, which is nice. And that is that. So they're saying here that these here have to be on the inside. So this basically goes on the inside. So like, like just like that. And this will be on the outside. So the little fingers won't get in contact with the metal. So that's a good thing. Uh, and you can see how the back is like that. Again, here is the second one here. And we're gonna move this out of the way. Oh, just on a back note, I did find the peg. This is for the paper roll, just so you know. Um, I didn't see it originally, but here it is. The, it was in the box, it was hidden. Uh, so that's the, for, the, for the paper roll. And uh, that goes in the center. And also, I forgot to pull out. These were also in the, <laughs> this is the Melissa and Doug branding. This goes on the top, the kind of, as you can see here, on the top of the box, you can see how it goes on top. So these are the branding, so it goes on the front side and the back side. Uh, so that's how that works. So we'll get that to, that goes at the end when we put on the boards. Okay, so let's continue. This is the crossbar. You can see here, this crossbar goes like this. 
I know it's a little confusing, but this is the crossbar. So this, I just put that screw in there. And this, the reason why it has a little uh, a lip like this comes out, so you can fold this away. That's why this is has a slot in it, and this is solid. So this one goes on this top here, that stays fixed, and that is the bottom, and that is uh, the one that moves up and down. So you can move it out of the way. So just uh, just put those in. Those are easy enough to do. Again, use the long screws for those. It tells you that. This T-bar on here, this this brace here. Put those two screws together you can see how they're attached and i told you this just comes out here this slides out so you can fold it but this t-bar goes in the middle which holds the paper and that's how they give some stability you can work with so this is what it looks like so far make sure these are in the inside like that like i told you and they have all the adjustments here and so far so good once you get going it's not too too, too complicated and if it's not tight enough for you you can use the the allen the allen wrench included uh so that's how that works so that's the holds the paper and it's simple just this just comes out once you get the the boards on everything is really super stable so this can be come out and change the paper but at least you get an idea of how to work with it now you can put the boards on both sides you're putting the last one you're putting on the pieces to hold up the board um super easy to understand that make sure you put the screws in the back so you can see how these insets are that's so the screw sits in the back inside the board you can see over here so the screw goes in the back here just like you see and you push it through all right and that's it's flush inside here so that's where that screw goes okay so that's why you have these insets because the screw side goes inside and the wing nut goes on the, on the front side just like you see here again super easy to install just like that and just tighten up and if you have to use the, uh, the tool you can the allen wrench if you need to um some of you do some of you don't i was playing with the back and forth um so the flat board of the douglas melissa and doug goes on the chalkboard side okay and then you have this side here and my granddaughter's already starting to play with it already it on the front side and what happens the reason why there's a little space here so the paper can go in between the board and the and the, and the paper as you can see here and the paper comes down and then when she's done with it you can actually just tear it off when they're done with it you can just tear this off and it acts as a tear bar uh, so that's what that's for. Then you have little clips if you want to clip up the artwork. And also, uh, so these all go on the, uh, just like I showed you, the screws go on the inside, the thumbnails go on the outside, and everything looks really nice when it's all put together. And so on, um, when you're putting on the trays, uh, so the screw, the only some shot ones you left, so just make sure you put them on the back. It's, it's uh, set in a little bit, so that's why if you put it through this way, it won't work. I know it's confusing, but you put the screw in the back, and I'll show you here an example. So here, just put the screw. If you put the screw in this way, it won't work. You have to put it in the back, see it pops out. Then you have plenty of room to just slide this over, and then you've got the tray right on. Uh, so one side is for paint, and one side is for crayons and coloring, so it's easy enough. What you do is that the paint side is the side that the paper goes on. So that's how you have to know that. And that's just easy enough to figure out. All right, so this is the paint side. Look at the bottom tray. We also got the accessory kit with this with the chalk and the uh, dry eraser and also the paints we got that with this as well so this is all set up and actually playing with it different paints this is a little containers to hold the paints these these stay sealed so you can continue using them so this they stay uh, all washable easy to use little brushes come on the kit so this whole kit i'll also uh, post a link uh, for this kit as well in the bottom of the video so you'll see that um so it really works well you know how it holds the paper like i showed you the bar in the middle this is where the bar paper goes uh change it just pick this up roll it right in and once i said once it's put together it's extremely extremely stable as you can see here it's not moving at all uh, so that's it it's a pair i love it and it works perfectly and i absolutely love this uh, easel works great don't forget to like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial i want to make it fairly quick and fairly un uh, easy to understand easy to use easy to install and not complicated whatsoever appreciate your time thanks for watching i hope you learned how to install and i love melissa and doug products absolutely the best